Okay, let's click on the leftmost data marker. You'll see that selects the whole range. Then select M. Blake's marker for keyboards and double click on it. Let's select red and OK. Let's go to the view menu, toolbars. Put a tick next to drawing if it's not already there. Now we click the oval button on the drawing toolbar and position the mouse pointer and draw out a tall oval. Then let's click the 3D button on the drawing toolbar and select 3D style 20. Then click the fill arrow button and select aqua. Then click the copy button on the standard toolbar and click the tallest marker for monitors and then click the paste button. Now right click on the data marker and say click format data series, go to the patterns tab, fill effects, on the picture tab click stretch and OK and OK and then select that original oval that we drew and we'll delete it select it and hit the delete key let's click the auto shapes button and lines and click arrow and then drag a line from the first of our ones to the tall one there we go then click the arrow style button and select arrow style 7 the double ended one and click the line style button and we'll select four and a half points as, as the thickness of the line. A right click on the arrow head and click format auto shape and go to the color and lines tab and click the color drop arrow and we'll select plum well, if we don't lose it, we'll select Plum. And under Arrows, click the... There's Plum. Okay. Select the End Style drop arrow. And click the Stealth arrow. And OK. Now click the Text Box button on the drawing toolbar and let's drag out a text box and type look at this and then click outside the text box I go to the view menu toolbars and click on the drawing to, to deselect that toolbar and let's save. 